Hello and welcome to 5J Gaming. I'm 5J and today we're going to check out the PlayStation Classic. Now, it has been selling very poorly. And I was definitely not going to pay full price for it, but it pretty well dropped in price everywhere by $40. I feel like I said dollars weird. 40, 40 bucks, $40. Um, and I had these Target gift cards and I was like, well, you know, it's already 40 bucks off. I'm not going to be paying uh, for it at all because I got these Target gift cards. Why not? Why not? Plus... I heard that it's pretty easy to add new games to it, so there's a strong chance that's what I'm going to do with it. And uh, I'm also very interested in seeing if there's a way I can get different controllers, because it's using the very original PlayStation controllers, which of course means no analog sticks. It looks so funny without those analog sticks, doesn't it? It's just too small. But it feels nice. It's a quality controller. I can't really show you the system. Uh, it's... The power cord that comes with it is really short, so the way that it's hooked up right now, there's no way I'm going to be able to pick it up and show you, but, yay, there's that controller, it looks just great, it feels, it feels great, it feels like a, an old-fashioned PlayStation controller. Again, very short cord though, very short, it's a USB controller, interestingly enough. So, anyways, thanks guys for watching, we got a bunch of folks watching right now, let's see who we got in here. We've got John Cena! What's up, John? It's been a long time. How's it doing, man? Uh, Chelsea's here. Edge Gaming. Mickey Mouse. That's also been a long time. How's it going, Mickey Mouse? Slimes does stuff. Again, that's been a bit too. How's it going, Slimes? Uh, Melee Man 14. Mad the Bam. Uh, go with the Crag, of course. Of course. Uh, and Marsupial Gamer over on Twitch. What's up, guys? Thanks for watching. All right, read some recent chats here. Yes, there's comments about uh, the PlayStation dropping in price. Yep. The game selection is not amazing. There are some really amazing games on here, but then there's a lot of other games you're like, why? Why is this a game that you chose? I don't know if they're all like early PlayStation hits or they're only ones that work with these controllers without joysticks. I assume they went with the original style controllers instead of the joysticks because it was cheaper to make that way instead of having joysticks in there. You know, like the NES and SNES classics, no joysticks in there. But you've really, really limited what kinds of games you can play on the PlayStation. After the DualShock came out, it was really the only way you wanted to play games anymore. So, kind of a strange decision. And I got another weird one for you. So, the reason why Final Fantasy VII is open right now is because there is no music of any kind. There's no sound. So I had to open up a game in order to have a sort of intro music for you guys. Isn't that strange? Strange to me. Uh, Melee Man says, next please Nintendo N64 and GameCube classics at some point. I'd be down with it. Based on their comments though, I don't think it's coming. At least not anytime soon. Not in the next few years. Edge Gaming says, sad, PlayStation Classic has such a history. Did you know it was originally an idea from Nintendo to be an add-on for the SNES and Super Famicom? Well, the PlayStation... You specifically said PlayStation Classic, though, which is where I'm getting stuck. <laughs> yes, the original PlayStation was indeed uh, an add-on for the Super Nintendo. And then uh, Nintendo was like, nah, we're going to work with Philips instead. And then that didn't work out either. So they, they really made some big mistakes there. But they do have that actual um, Super Nintendo, uh, the Nintendo PlayStation, um, in a museum. They actually found a, a working prototype, cool as that is. Um, Man the Bam says, PlayStation Classic, more like 5J Classic. Just a Blu-ray disc with all of his streams. The collector's edition will come with a 5J clock, something that is actually real. That's true. On Redbubble, you can get a clock with uh, some 5J stuff. Uh, different pieces of artwork and whatnot. Man, the man says, near close to the original PlayStation controller. Yes, the controller is one-to-one -one scale. The console is very small. Again, I can't really lift it up and show it to you, but it's quite small. Uh, man, the man says, I found one for 25 pounds. Still didn't get one, lol. I'm waiting to see if they make another one. That'd be cool, too. Marsupial's asking, no music in the menu at all? No. 
there's sound effects. Right? What is this? Jumping flash. Intelligent cube. What are these games? Some of them are like, why? Why did you do this? I definitely want to check this one out. Persona. Persona Revelations. Or rather, Revelations Persona. I think this is the original Persona game. Though there might have been one on Super Nintendo. I can't recall. Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo. Really? That That's a game you... Okay. That's a game you chose. It was an essential PlayStation game. All right. Ridge Racer, sure. Siphon Filter, sure. Tekken, sure. Tom Clancy, Twisted Metal. These are good. I want to say Tom Clancy, Rainbow Six. They've got some good RPGs in here, like Wild Arms and Persona. Battle Arena Toshinden. Cool Borders 2, really. Destruction Derby, really? Re these are the classics on the PlayStation, are they? The original Grand Theft Auto. That one, that one I'm... I'm I th I'm sure a lot of people are excited about. Or at least are interested in seeing the roots of Grand Theft Auto. Anyways, let's see. Ben R says, Did you know that modders made the SNES Classic run PlayStation games and it emulates them better than the PS Classic? Ha! <laughs> That's kind of funny. I'm not exactly sure what emulator they're using on the SNES Classic, but Sony has outright said that this PlayStation Classic is using an open source emulator. They did not make this emulator that's running these games. They probably added some stuff. Maybe they cut out some features and restricted it, you know, to, to kind of fit their approach. But this is not Sony's emulation at work here. That's kind of interesting to me. So it's totally possible that some other emulator is working better than the one that's on the PlayStation Classic. Man, the man says, Jay, please tell me why I'm still awake. I could not tell you. Could not tell you. But I appreciate it. Go with the Craig says, I think Collector's Edition 5J Blu-ray should come with a 1 12th scale statue of 5J Lel. Parker Johnson's here with that Parker. Now the says, wait, Persona 1? Hey, that's pretty good. Is that uh, SpongeBob memes there? Okay, we should play something. Um... Oh, Twisted Metal is so good. Let's play some Twisted Metal. So you choose your game. Awesome. You get the sweet. That sound. I love that sound. It, I just... Uh, it is one of my favorite startup sounds. By the way, on the console, the power button is the on-off, as you'd expect. The reset button brings you back to the menu. And then there's also the open button, if you remember on the PlayStation 1. And it opened the disc lid. You use that in the game to simulate swapping out discs. So in games like Final Fantasy VII, the game was so big, it was across several discs. Final Fantasy VII was on three discs. Um, so you would use that open button when it tells you to please insert disc two. So kind of interesting. All right, one player contest, sure. Oh man, I remember these graphics. I remember them so well. Sweet Tooth, the terrifying clown. Roadkill looks like something out of Mad Max. I love it. Hammerhead. Oh, Spectre's like the James Bond car. Mr. Grimm. Just a dude on a motorcycle with a couple of rocket launchers. Warthog. Before the Warthog was a Halo vehicle, it's just a big military Humvee. Pit Viper. It's like a sweet doom buggy. Ooh! Nice! It's a Lamborghini. I think Diablo, right? Crimson Fury. Thumper's like an old Impala or something. Outlaw, the cop car. Dark Side is basically Optimus Prime, except that he doesn't transform into bot mode. Yeah, it's a semi truck. I, I chose the cooler one. Okay, if I gotta choose between these vehicles, I'm, I think I'm gonna go roadkill with this awesome Mad Max looking vehicle here. And the man says, I love the PS1 startup sound, by the way. Right? It's so good. Edge Gaming says, Lamborghini, my favorite car that I cannot buy. Yeah, I hear ya. I hear ya. I love Lamborghinis. They're so bold. 
They're so cool. Prepare for Arena Duel. By the way, it is a two-player console. You can plug in two controllers. Whoa. Where's Go? There we are. Okay. It's there. Hey, it moves pretty quick. It's like a demolition derby, this first one. The levels got more insane in later ones. Do I run out of this at all? I don't think that I do. And I've got missiles. And I think you can pick up other upgrades. Where? There you are. Yeah! Ba-boom, Thumper! I think I've run out of missiles. It's time to go find some... something. That's probably an upgrade, huh? I think I'm missing them. It's a little bit on the drifty side. Of course, that might be the vehicle that I chose as well. Fire. Ah, oh, this is missile again. Get him! Oof, I can't tell who's hurt worse, me or Thumper. Okay, you hit the X button and you kind of, like, drift around so you can face people better. I'm ready for it. Yes! I think I'm close to gone. Ah, but we win! Oh, it's a password system. Oh, that's too bad. Madeline says, no, not a SpongeBob reference. I will never stop so low. Stoop so low. My bad. It's a reference that a YouTuber says in a green suit. He sometimes dresses up as a cop. Okay, I don't know that one. Parker says, fun fact, a Hot Pocket can choke you. I have had the experience. It's scary. Most things can choke you. If they can fit inside your mouth, then they can get caught in your throat and choke you. So be careful with literally anything. Go with the Craig says, lol, maybe if we donate enough, Jake can buy a Lambo. Wow. That would be a lot of donations. My, my, my. I think before I get the Lambo, I'd probably want to get, like, a sweet house. Ugh. Pay it off completely. Oh, man. Any other debts that I have pay off all that business. I think that was an innocent bystander I just shot there. Sorry, dude. This is a much bigger, much more interesting level. Still, you're still too fast, though. Looks like you have multiple lives when you're playing one player. That was an innocent bystander. Well, actually, probably just an empty car, honestly. I think I've overheated my guns. Oh, they're getting me good. Run away! Run away! Oh, it's a health station. Well, well. Somebody has really good aim. That's just the remains of a vehicle. All right, we see somebody coming here. Boom! Ooh. sort of goo cannon that one has. I'm missing something. There's somebody... Oh, there's a radar for one. Totally be looking at that radar. Oh! Warthog, no! He got me. Oh, but I want to get him now. Yep, I think Warthog's done. We got Mr. Grimm on the motorcycle. He's really hard to hit. He's so tiny. There we go. -de 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 -de. Prepare for freeway free for all. Whoa! Five dudes at once. Select is actually pause. Interesting. Mathemam says, Is this Twisted Metal? If it isn't, it 
still is anyway. Yes, it is the original Twisted Metal. We're going to move on to a different game, though. So, yeah. I think Twisted Metal 2 kind of was the uh, the best in the series. I don't know, the classic in the series. They were all classic in their own way, but 2 is very good. Now, then, this is Jay, maybe 28, but actually I'm not 28 anymore. Last September, I turned 29. But when it comes to memes, you're probably over 30 when you become old. Thank you, Mad the Bam. I really appreciate that. Uh, go with the Craigslist. So does this game hold up, Jay? I, like I said, I think that uh, the other Twisted Metals are probably better than this one. This one, I get it. It's the first one in the series, and that makes it a classic. But I think all the other games in the series were better. So I would say to go play one of the other Twisted Metals. Actually, they put a, a Twisted Metal on PS3, and that was actually really good. So check that one out. Parker says, yep, anything can choke you. I just ate a Hot Pocket and choked for about five seconds. Oof, that could be that could be scary, dude. So I'm, I'm, I'm glad you, you got over it. Um, Let's try another card game. Ridge Racer Type 4. Planner says, here in my garage with this new Lamborghini here. But you know what I like more than Lamborghinis? Knowledge points at bookshelves. I would not spend loads and loads of money on books. Not me, man. Marcy Beals says, nice, lol. What are you when you're 41 like I am, XD? You know, anytime you see a, a young person, they're going to tell you, like, 30s old. You're never old until you get old in your heart. So don't let it happen. I'm never going to be old. I'm going to be 90 years old in my body. But in my brain and in my heart, I'm going to be 16 forever. Planner only really likes BMWs. Only BMWs? That's interesting. I like BMWs, but only BMWs? I like, I like the sharp, bold-looking cars. I also often like uh, straight lines more than curves. It's like the DeLorean is really cool to me. Oh, any car's got the louvers in the back, too. Super awesome. Planner says, Jay, why are you playing game on computer? Go outside. So beautiful. Smash this 2004 laptop on tool deck. Is this another meme or something? Because uh, I'm not getting it. <laughs> so they put Ridge Racer in here, and that's cool. But I kind of wonder why they didn't put in Gran Turismo. Or Wipeout. Sure, Grand Prix. I believe this game is a little bit more arcadey. Welcome to the Real Racing Roots 99 Grand Prix. 99! Boy, that seems like forever ago, doesn't it? How many of you were actually alive in 1999? Actually, probably a good portion of you guys, right? Well, boy, I suppose it's 19 years ago, so maybe not quite as many as I was thinking right off the bat. Can I, like, skip this? Okay. Thanks. Four racing teams, welcome to join. Okay. Oh, that one looks like Pac-Man. I'm into it. I don't even need to see any other teams. Pac-Man is good. One car manufacturer out of four to sponsor your team, so please select a manufacturer. Also, Ludo, are these real brands? They can't be. Wizard. Dynamic and aggressive forms. That sounds good to me. Tarazi, varied body styles. Well, that doesn't tell me a whole lot. Focus on compact, aerodynamic. So that sounds kind of like Fiat. Characterized by fluid and sporty body styles. I don't know, man. I'm going to try Lizard. It had the word dynamic and aggressive. It sounds great. That is not dynamic or aggressive looking. Okay. Manual or automatic? 
We'll try the automatic for now. We'll do manual later. Ah, so many chats! And the man says, Bart Simpson once said, if you're over 30 year old, and I stand by that. You stand by that now. But what happens when you are 30? It probably seems like forever away. And uh, I hope you get to it very slowly. I'm still enjoying my 20s. The last bits of my 20s. Planner says, Jay, the green dude who dresses up as a cop is iDubs. He's a very famous YouTuber. Okay. Never heard of him. Skipping more about this iDubs business. Marsupial says, yeah, I was 22 and in college. I played so much PlayStation in college. Wow. That's cool. Let's see. In college, that was the days of the Xbox 360 for me. I started college in 2008. So, yeah, there's, there's a little bit of difference in our age. A little bit. I'm not used to Circle being confirmed in this game, by the way. There's like a lot of stuff in the way of like actually playing. All right, let's actually play this. Come on, baby. 1999. I would be 10 years old. Nine if it's before September. So, yeah, I wasn't too old myself either. You know, to me, these graphics look better than I would have expected. Oh! Of course, it is upscaled to 720p, so it probably does look better than if I were to literally hook up a PlayStation and play this exact game. But, I don't know. For some reason, I expected it to look even worse than this. This is totally fine, in my opinion. I'm totally able to play games that look like this. This controls pretty well. I'm doing the automatic. Whoa! It is a bit drifty, but it's okay. It's supposed to be arcadey. That way I don't have to hit the brake so much. I'll just take my uh, foot off the accelerator. Ah, oh, no, I don't think it's working. Which one's brake? Brake. Okay, I think it's uh, left one, L1. Get out of my way! Let me beat you. Come on. What's the problem? Ugh. Lame crash. I like this music. Sort of 90s electronica. It's a new record. Is it? Because I crashed like a bunch. But, to be fair, it is my first race in this game ever, so maybe it's just my first record, not the track's first record. New record, rather. It's kind of an okay feeling of speed here. You can tell what's going on. Woo! Squealy, but we made it. Okay, yeah, a little break there helped a lot. Oh, yeah. Oh, that brake is helping a whole lot. You just tap it a little bit here and there. Around those corners. You're good. We're now in second. We see the guy in first. Oh, man. We could do this. As long as there's another lap. We probably won't pass him this lap. Oh, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Oh, as I ride the rail. We might end up back in third or fourth here. Okay, no, 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 this is good. Still in second. All right, not bad for a first race. Ah, uh, boy, there's just so many chats. Wow, I'm sorry guys, I gotta skip some of these. Uh, Phoenix is here, what's up Phoenix? Welcome, welcome. Chats. 
Matt the Bam says, when I'm over 30, I'll stand with a walking stick. I hope not, because 30 is so young. Boy, I hope to not need any sort of walking assistance at 60. Or 70. Or 80, for that matter. Because if you need walking assistance, that means one of a few things. Back problems, leg problems, balance problems. Don't want any of that. And then I pronounced that YouTube name wrong, yeah, I don't care. <laughs> Go to Craig is asking if I had a PlayStation growing up or N64. I had an N64. My friend had a PlayStation. We played lots of PlayStation. We loved, 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 loved Ape Escape. This was a competent racer. I wouldn't say it's crazy awesome, but it's definitely competent. You've qualified. Cool. I qualified. Man, there's so many chats, guys. I cannot keep up with all this. t Poser says, I downloaded American ROMs and PlayStation Classic because the PAL ROMs were used for some of the games, so I replaced them. Nice. I'm probably going to be adding some games to this as well, but this is just the out-of-the-box stuff right now. And welcome, t Poser. Parker says, one of the... One of Parker's Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons is red. His shirt is blue. And when he watches Nintendo Direct for Smash Ultimate, he said, Wow, Ridley's in this game, too. It's a nice poem. Now, the man says, Jay, you already probably know about the Commodore 64 Mini Classic, but later on in 2018, they were supposed to make a full-sized one and also a portable one, but they delayed them both. Well, did they delay it because people ripped apart their Mini one? It sounds like it wasn't very good. People didn't seem to like it very much. So that's that's too bad. Dr. X Jim's here. What's up, Dr. X Jim? How's it going, dude? Bless you. Skipping, skipping. And the man says, but now they said that the life size 64 will have keys that actually work, and they said that they will make new games for it. So Commodore are making games again, and it's supposed to come out in 2019. Okay. I would be interested in having uh, a console like that for sure. So we'll see. Oh, let's check out Tekken 3. I bet it's bad. <laughs> I'm not a huge fighting game person, but Tekken is kind of cool. GP Project Gaming's back. What's up, GP? He says, hey, hey, buddy. Uh, Happy New Year, 5J Gaming. Thanks, dude. Happy New Year to you, too. Uh, Dr. X Jim says, sweats in Nintendo 64. What does that mean? He says, it's been good. Christmas break is almost over. Mm, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, I didn't expect there to be a story like this. It's like military helicopters and stuff. This is a Tekken, right? This is a fighting game, right? Oh, yeah, that guy. What's his name? Heihachi or something like that? T-Poser says, Jay, you deserve all respect. Ape Escape has only started getting a real cult following in the last few years, and I think it should have been on the PS Classic. Yeah, it should have, but the problem is this. There's no analog sticks. And that game was literally made to show off what the analog sticks could do. It just will not play without analog sticks. So, I'm hoping to find another controller that will work on PlayStation Classic. Maybe I just get some sort of Bluetooth dongle. And then, uh, hopefully I can put uh, Ape Escape on there, because Ape Escape rules. Rules. Oh, I love it so much. Parker says, Jay, there's a Final Fantasy on there. If so, play it. Yes, there is Final Fantasy VII. We will definitely play it. I had no idea Tekken had all this story. This is crazy. Ah! Man, these chats will not stop coming. Eventually, I gotta play a game, don't I? Matt the says, people like the Commodore Mini, but not at the start, so they patched it with some updates and sometimes... Add games to your roster as well. Okay. So, kind of like this. <laughs> kind of like the PlayStation Classic. Arcade mode. Tekken Force mode? Survival mode? Wow. I'm actually really impressed with all the different modes here. I'm just going to start with arcade mode. Shall you? Is that how you say it? Yoshimitsu. Nina. That one's easy. Law? Looks like Bruce Lee. Huarang? Eddie. Paul. 
king. King just has a leopard's head. Okay. Oh, I guess I'm Jin. Qui-Gon Jin. I wish. There is a Star Wars fighting game on PlayStation 1. But that was not a classic. That actually, you could say it's a classic of bad games. Oh, yeah. Look at those. I like to say that the PlayStation and 64 era is the only era of gaming where you can count both the pixels and the polygons. And you can see that's very true. This was pretty good looking, though, back in the day, sadly. Wah! Well, do you, wait till you see Final Fantasy VII, though. Woof. Dr. Extreme says, give him the slap! Is that uh, one of Jin's moves? I don't know this guy's moves at all. Tipo says, honestly, the first games I'll add to PS Classic are games like Ape Escape and Dragon Quest. Yes! Totally! Great choices. What about the shoulder buttons? Nothing. I like that downward punch. Just punches you on the top of the head. Ouch. Stop doing that. Oh! The up and down foot. Watch this. Bam! Bam! Oh! Ouch. Dr. X Jim says, here's multiple slaps and here! He did just go here! Round one. Yoshimitsu has a lightsaber. Excuse me, what? Oh, that's a cool one. Okay, I'm officially thinking this game is not so bad. Go to Craig says, OJ, you mean Star Wars Masters of Terras Kasai. Yeah, that game looks like garbage, lol. Yes, and I bought that game. I bought that game, I think at Costco. It was well after that game had been out, and you know, it was cheap and whatnot, but I was like, I know this game was garbage even back then, it had a garbage reputation. But it was a Star Wars fighting game. I had to try it. So I did. And it was garbage. But there's some novelty value to it, so there's a chance one day I might stream it as legendary garbage. And the Bam says, well, let's just say they are re-releasing the N64 and they are starting to make new games. Oh, sorry, not N64. The Commodore 64. Very different. Very, very different. Round one. Fight. Dude. There's a little bit of a 3D-ness to it. Oh, and there's backwards. Oh, so what's my backwards kick? Sweet. I punched him in the ankle and he went down. Go with the crag, 10 bits. Thanks, dude. He says, I'm so sorry, Jay here. I will reimburse you for buying that game, lol. Cheer 10. Well, yeah, that's about all it's worth. 10 cents for sure. Hmm, I'm jumping when I'm doing that attack. But that's not what I want. Oh, it is a jump and punch to the ankle. That's what it is. Okay. I'm testing out all of my moves here. Oh, savage. Adam says, also, what do you think about Onimusha Warlords? I've never played an Onimusha game, so I really have no thoughts about it. Edge Gaming says, perfect ground for 5J. Dr. X Jim says, it was all rigged from the start. Hey, stop that. Shall you go away. Just seeing what all, the, all these kicks do right now. That particular punch doesn't seem to have a lot of different moves. Oh, it's largely a combo button, I see. Got it. Gotcha. How dare you. Roll away. Wah. Uh, yeah, Ben R, I agree. I do want a collection of 64 games on the Switch. That would be great. GP Project says, I have the PlayStation wow. Classic Mini. It's a cool little device. It is. It looks great, too. And it fits in really well with my NES and SNES Classics. So, I'm going to have this awesome little collection of these little classic consoles. Ugh. Ugh. Yes. Shall you. Boy, that kick doesn't have a lot of differences either, does it? 
KO. We're really clobbering these guys right now. And then it says, what do you think about Fallout 76? Cracks Knuckles ready to defend the game. I've never played it. I know there's a lot of people are complaining about it for one reason or another, but I think it just comes down to them having incorrect well, expectations one. about the game. Fight. I'm sure it's a plenty fine game like many others that people are very upset about. I think there's situations where games like No Man's Sky really did not deliver on their promises at all. However, the game today is a good game. The game that we got, you know, two years ago, not good game. So, I, don't, I just don't think that's the case, though, with uh, Fallout 76. I think people are just whiners. <laughs> now, the band says, I always thought that the N64 and Commodore 64 were the same. Really? That doesn't seem to compute. I mean, they have a similar name, obviously. Over here, I don't even know if there was a Commodore 64. Because PC games were huge in the 80s in the UK, but here they they were okay. They they weren't super successful, but they were around. Everyone probably had some sort of PC, but they didn't necessarily play games on it. So we didn't get a lot of of PC gaming PCs in the 80s and, and 90s. And then when Windows came along, it's like, no, that's it. That's the only gaming PC we need anymore. Oh, savage. Oh, that time I trounced him. He beat me last round. Then I got a perfect on him. And then says, Jay loses match. The lag. I predict the future. Oh, you did. Oh, I, I lost, like, the round, but not, like, the entire fight. Fight. The fight. Oh, Bruce Lee is kicking my butt right now. Dude, he's supposed to be Bruce Lee, isn't he? Oh. Oh, there's grabs. When? Where? Why? How? So there's button combos too. Like if I press two buttons at once, it does something. Okay. Gotta check it out. Dr. Jackson says, every parent back then said, domestic violence simulator. Domestic violence? I don't know about that. But yeah, no. Uh, back in the day, of course, there's so much about parents being uncomfortable with video game violence. Games like this didn't help, but Grand Theft Auto, which we're going to play here, uh, would, would not have helped even more. Oh, his fist combos just destroyed me. Ben R says both the Super Mario Galaxies need to get remade in glorious 1080p 60 FPS. That'd be cool. Five, I'd be into that. Parker says Snake in Smash Ultimate is broken like Krom is, lol. Snake is very powerful. Alright, we're going to try out GTA. I don't think I've ever played this. I know it is a top-down perspective. So... It is not 3D. In fact, Grand Theft Auto 2 wasn't 3D either. Only Grand Theft Auto um, 3 started the 3D aspect. And this is ultra, also interesting. Look, these games don't have ratings on them. There is no rating of any kind on these, except Grand Theft Auto, in the bottom left corner, has the parental advisory warning on it, which you would see on CDs with... Um, swearing on them so apparently this game was bad enough you know had enough bad stuff in it that it warranted some sort of action regarding well parents got to know that this game is you know got all this stuff in it so they use that parental advisory warning so that's interesting Dr. X Jim says, makes sense why he's kicking your butt. Bruce Lee is so awesome. JP says, KO, perfect. I love this game. That was actually really good. I was kind of expecting it to be garbage, but Tekken 3, that was decent. That was a pretty good fighting game. Doesn't look good anymore, but it's cool. I mean, I love the look of these old games. I really do. Ah, there's so many points here. Points. Uh, chats. Uh, Dr. Extreme was saying something about points. His torso just got twisted. Yeah, the Bruce Lee character. Yeah, it got all twisted. 
Negative 100 out of 10. Bad game. No torso. Mad the Man says, I just don't know what a Saturn is. Oh, come on. You just won't let that go. My goodness. Um, let's see. Let's start up Grand Theft Auto. See what it's like. It's top down. I think you're mostly spending time in the cars, but I don't know for sure. Mad the Bam, it's not a joke because that comment didn't really have anything to do with you. And I don't know why you got so offended by it. I just said that people in the stream might not know what the Saturn is. Might. Like, cool your jets, dude. You took it as such a personal offense. Like, come on, man. Dr. Axtrum says, let's see how the late 90s looked from a game perspective. Well, we've seen it already. And it is pixelated and pointy. And pointy. Barub Tara Trans is here. Thank you for watching. Says, hey guys, how are things? PS1 Wowzers. Yeah, it's the classic. Uh, it was so heavily discounted and I had some Target gift cards. I was like, you know what? Why not? Why not? Okay, I have never played this original Grand Theft Auto. See how it goes. Travis. Wow, Travis ends up being a character later, doesn't he? Bubba. Oh, man, Troy. Kivlov? Kivlov? I think it's Kivlov. Used to be a Russian guy. I'm going to go with Bubba. Oh, my goodness. Bubba is hideous. Whew. He is not looking good, looking good at all. All right, Liberty City. That's kind of cool, Liberty City. That that's in uh, Grand Theft Auto later. Uh, boy, which Grand Theft Auto was Liberty City? Was that um, three, four? Craig says, "Look at that word art text, lol." Yeah, so bad. Okay, answer the... Oh, I didn't read what that said. Oh, weird. This is like tank controls. I have to hold X to move forward, and then I just spin in circles. Oh, man, this is a weird way to move. Is it different if you actually have analog sticks, or was that not programmed in there? Am I turning when I'm doing this? Is that a punch? Is that supposed to be a punch? I can't tell. I think I'm like backing up. Is that a punch? There was a car on the side of the road. I'm gonna see if I can steal it. I mean, this is Grand Theft Auto, isn't it? Yes, the punch totally works. Whoa. Actually, Grand Theft Auto also had a game on Game Boy Color or Game Boy Advance. It was this game. I did steal a car. It's working right off the bat. Woo, yeah! Ugh. Ugh. If I stayed in my lane. Oops. Where's reverse? There we are. These are not good graphics. <laughs> but I think it's a really big game. South Park, Southwest Park. Well, South Park. That was a huge thing in the 90s, huh? Still is. Oh, I'm answering a ringing phone. Got it. Dumped a car in the Northeast Park. Find it before the cops do. Or die. Wow. Or die. Boy, the stakes are big. I think Grand Theft Auto's come a long way since these days. Uh oh, I'm jaywalking. Well, but I'm 5J. I'm always jaywalking. Thank you. Thank you for stomaching that terrible joke. I want to punch somebody. Get punched. I'm assuming you're eventually going to get weapons and pretty much do all the things you still do in Grand Theft Auto. Just in terrible graphics and with fewer options to do them. The 
cars look funny. They move funny. They're just sliding around a static sprite. Can I steal this guy's motorcycle? Because I want to. Yeah, what's up, boy? Oh, the super bike. I didn't know I stole a super bike. Wow, it's really unwieldy. Oh. Oh! <gasps> I thought I'd missed half my body there. Oh, I was just crawling. Always points to your goal. Oh, yeah, I know that. Oh, it's this car. Let's do it. Mundano. Well, this is a mundane car. So I'm stealing this car and taking it where? So far, the cops have not cared at all about the mass mayhem that I'm causing. Oh, is there an easier way to steer around these corners? Circle break, maybe? I think it is. Ugh, does not steer well. Ah, oh, man. I did not go the correct way to drop that off. Coming through, beep beep. Must be through here. I'm going into a building, I guess. Not very well, but I'm doing it. Kinda. Wow, now there's two arrows. What is that supposed to mean? No, don't get in that car. Don't try to steal that car. Get in that building and do what you're supposed to do. Oh, that's not good, man. I was in the building and now I'm not. I'm confused. Am I going in this door? Am I not? Was I glitching before? I really don't understand what's happening right now. Something else a door here. Whew, Grand Theft Auto, you have come a long ways. I would say this is not necessarily a classic anymore. <laughs> ah! Interesting piece of history, but woof. That's rough. That is real rough. Check some chats here. I'm sure there's 17,000 again waiting for me. Edge says, never imagine seeing you play a GTA game, 5J. Well, sort of. The radio commentary can be inappropriate. Can it? I couldn't even really hear it. Another man says, the cars are like feathers, so we just don't care. Until the feather comes to close, but until that happens, no one cares. I don't understand. Oh, I put the car in the garage, do I? It's a garage. We'll give that a shot. Alright, car. Let's try this. Would you get in the car, please? He's being so dumb. Get in. Thank you. In the mundano. It's so hard to see anything top-down perspective was not a good idea. Or I'm supposed to talk to another dude on a phone, huh? Seems to be the thing. Talk to a guy on a phone, go steal a car and put it somewhere. Ah, come on! Oh, that was it! Excuse me, pardon me, I have to answer this phone quick, so I'll just ignore all traffic laws while I do so. It's a 
bunch of moving around cars, which makes sense since the game is called Grand Theft Auto. Oh, wasted. Oh, that was the original term for when you died, huh? Well. Man, this this is so so many chats, guys. All right, let's see here. All right, it was a request for Rayman from Luke. Yes, I can play the original Rayman. Now, I've played the original Rayman many times, but I played the origin the uh, GBA port. So, I, when I recently tried Rayman on the PS1 Classic, I was very surprised at how different it was um, sonically. The music, the sound effects, it's very, very different. And now I can see why the reboots are the way they are. It actually is very true to this original. So, let's take a look. GTA was rough around the edges at first. That was crazy. Parker says, My grandmother texted me and asked me what I was doing, and I said, Watching 5J. Nice. Awesome. And then says, Isn't Jay walking a crime over there or something, Jay? It is. It is a crime. It is a crime for me to walk, apparently. Jaywalking is, what, crossing the street where there isn't a crosswalk? So, that's silly. I think it specifically applies to cities, though, because otherwise, Hi, folks. out in the country, there's no way to get to, like, a mailbox story, without crossing the road, you know what I mean? There's a giant movie. This wasn't in the GBA version, either. It's fully voice acted. Luke says, yeah, I love Rayman. He has a lot of moveset potential for Smash. Totally. Yeah, he's been kind of fake rumored for a very long time. I think Brawl. There was rumors that he was going to be in Brawl, even. Dr. X says, ew, crusty hands. You're down with those statues? Well. And then says, can you play Intelligent Cube? It's a puzzle game, and I want to see how smart you are. Well, well, while well, I'm streaming is not the best way to see how smart I am. Okay, we're not going to watch that whole movie there. It's very long. I tried to watch it before. It's very long. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. It has, a, it has to still try to read the memory card, right? So that you have to emulate a memory card. So I probably have a file on here, unless it didn't save. It did save! All right. But the Craig says, it's full motion video as opposed to video that isn't full motion. Right? Totally. FMV, though, is typically filmed stuff. That was like a little animated film, you know? A little different. Parker says, in this horrible state I live in, anyone can do anything. It dis. It dis, huh? Oh, it did not save my progress. Actually, you know what? I might have a save state. Right here, this resume point. Okay. And I've already played a little bit, so I've got my, my fist power. Because when you first start the game, you can't even punch. You have to unlock that ability. So now, I have done that. And you can use these little... I don't know what they are. Bouncing eggplant blueberry things? I don't know. On the water, like little boats. I think the golden fist does extra damage. And there's the speed power up so it flies faster. Travels quicker. Wah! So as you can see, uh, from the beginning, Rayman has always thrown his fist. He's always had the weird floating body. So he was always a strange boy. He gets like the hiccups when he gets hit. It's like a whistling cartoon sound when you hit a dude. Oh! Oh, don't fall in the water. Oh. 
Wait, Go to Craig's. There's only one save state on PS Classic. Ugh. One per game. Yeah. Yep, and I don't know if that was a part of the original emulator that this is based off of, or if that was something that PlayStation wanted. Sorry, Sony wanted. But, yeah. That's... That's how it is, man. Looks as I hate how Rayman 2 removed the wind-up punch and replaced it with low... the Lum throw, but I'm okay with that since it adds to his move set. I I don't think I've ever played Rayman. Oh, you know what? Is that is that the Great Escape? Yes. No. Then I have played that one. Oh, it's been a long time, but yeah, that's right. It was a it was a fully 3D one, right? Maybe I got the subtitle wrong. There is a Great Escape, and that might not be the second one. But I think the uh, Rayman 2 was on PS2 and N64, possibly some other platforms, right? No, I can't believe I fell in there again. Ah, so many chats. Luke says, I played this in 2006. Nice. Like I said, this was this was actually one of the first games that was on the Game Boy Advance. It was a launch title, the port of this game. And it looked great. It looked pretty much exactly like this, though the backgrounds might be a little bit more detailed. Otherwise, it looks pretty well the same, but the sound is totally different. The sound is much better on PlayStation. Well, at the very least, it's more probably what the original... Like, it sounds more synthesized and less chip tuny, if that makes any sense. It sounds more like synthesizers and less like a chip tune thing. I never realized until later that the GBA didn't have the best sound. Because I always liked all the music it was pumping out, and I was always used to Game Boy Color and stuff, so I was like, oh yeah, it's got a great sound. No, it doesn't. But it doesn't mean you can't still enjoy it. Ugh. Okay. It's these guys shooting those guns that are making those things fly around. I figure these guys are called Elatoons or something like that. Electoons. Yeah. yeah! And it does that anytime you accomplish something. Yeah! And then makes a little, like, weird saxophone song. <laughs> There we go. That's a save point. Now I've saved for real. Go to Craig says, yeah, PS1 had a great sound chip. Well, PS1 was essentially a CD player, so it could play anything. Any sound that could fit on a CD, it could play. So from then on, you could have orchestrated soundtracks from PS1 onward. The 64 technically could. But the cartridges were very low storage compared to a CD and very expensive. Um, so oftentimes um, companies didn't want to spend a lot of money on a big cartridge. So any music that they had on the N64, they would compress so, so hard. Plus, I think the larger the music, the more it probably interfered with the rest of the game too. So there was probably multiple reasons why on the 64 you really needed to compress the music. Yeah, I found when I had this on Game Boy Advance this fun little way to make that work. So for some reason this thing now works like a motorboat. It even makes a noise like a motorboat. There we go. It's like squeaking as it swings. Smidge on the annoying side, but very cartoony. Another one of those dudes with that weird hammer bullet gun. We're saving all these little buggers. Rayman, I don't know what your weird comment means. Oh, sorry, Dr. Exgeum, my bad. 
Uh, Luke says it was for N64, PS1, and PS2. It was on PS1? I would like to see the PS1 version, because I think I've only ever seen PS2 and N64 version. And my favorite game is Rayman 3 Hoodlum Havoc, which was for PS2, GameCube, Xbox, and Xbox 360. Really? It was ported to the 360? I did not know that. That seems... Wow, like... It must have come out many, many years afterwards. I think he's a boss right now, but he becomes a friend. Isn't he also in... Ah! Uh, isn't he also in the new Rayman games, this little mosquito guy? Something just popped up. Oh, I think it's just a Facebook alert. There we go. We sufficiently punched that mosquito in his massive eyeballs. Yeah, yeah. His little dance. Oh, he's crying. He gave him a couple of pats on the top of the eyeball and suddenly they're best friends. Yeah. Awesome. Oh yeah, and then you immediately get to play a level. Where uh, you're flying on his back. Ugh. P thing is your health. After this level, we'll go check out another game. Hey, don't you even. I'm messing it up big time, guys. Ugh. There are multiple ways to die there. It is a very goofy cartoon-like game. So it very much is fitting, that reboot. I didn't realize how good the reboot of Rayman was as far as fitting the original game. Because the sound for me was really the key for realizing just how goofy cartoony this game is. Yeah! yeah! Man Legends, that's the one, right? No, Origins was the reboot, and then Legends was the sequel. And the man says, why is it 2.36 a.m. and why do my eyes feel wired? It says wired, but I think he means weird. Probably because you stayed up too late. You're courageous. Oh, that's right. We get a new ability now. What is my ability? You have the power to hang on ledges. It's a lame power, but it does actually come in handy. So before, I couldn't do that. I couldn't grab a ledge and then jump up. Later, you'll get the helicopter hair, allowing you to descend slowly. That's my favorite. I love that one. Justice says they poured Rayman 2 The Great Escape on 3DS, too. Did they really? I don't remember that. Actually, now that you say it, it, I kind of remember it. And I think it was like a really bad port, wasn't it? And it was like early on. You know what else Rayman 2 made it onto? Game Boy Color. Legit. It did. I have it. It's right over there. Can't play it for you right now, but I could play it another day. And the man says, the official Commodore 64 classic website is a Facebook page. Just saying. Yeah, I never liked that. I'm like, what? Why? Just use a real website. Yes, we'll make a new resume point. That's annoying that they ask you to overwrite that resume point. Okay. I've never played Oddworld, Abe's Odyssey. Mr. Driller, Metal Gear Solid. I'm actually kind of looking forward to this one. Uh, Intelligent Cube. I don't know that I really want to try this one, but Mad the Bam wanted to see it, I guess. Uh, Final Fantasy VII. Some of these games are... What? Destruction Derby? Cool Borders? I mean, that's fine. This, this appears to be maybe a Japan-exclusive fighting game. I didn't... Did this come out in America? I don't know, man. Uh, I'm happy about this one. Wild Arms RPG. Oh, yeah. Super Puzzle Fighter 2. Um, Siphon Filter. I want to play some Persona as well. 
So where to go next? Let's see that intelligent cube thing. See what's going on with it. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Luke says, Rayman's final smash. It should be him riding that bud. I think you mean bug? That he usually rides and it tries to suck the opponents up and spits them out in the air, shooting them. And Rayman finishes them with a blow, like a big punch. Yeah, he, oh, he did the big wind-up fist and yeah. That'd be cool. Parker says, yeah, Rayman Legends, he can grab and... What? Yay, yay, Rayman can ledge grab. He can be in Smash Ultimate as DLC. I see what you're saying now. Um, as Bam says, they actually did have a real page before the C64 released, but I think they took it down and now it's just a Facebook page. What, too expensive to hold on to it or what? Dr. X Jim says Waluigi is not in Smash Ultimate. Yep, yeah, we're aware of that. We're all very painfully, heartbrokenly aware of it. No, I don't really care that much. It'd be kind of cool to have him in there, and I don't know why they do continue to exclude him now that they have literally all of the other, like, side characters, but whatever. I guess they don't have Birdo yet. I guess that Waluigi is kind of a Birdo, if that makes sense. And the M says, yay, 5J, more like Smart J. Mm, I don't know about that. What? This is not what I expect at all. What is happening? How does this game work? There is literally no explanation here. A hundred points. I'm sure that's the absolute bare minimum possible. Yes, PlayStation Classic indeed. All right. Let's see if we can figure out these controls quick before we die. First stage. Whoa, apparently Square is make that thing come at you as fast as possible. So let's not do that again. Oh, I see. So you lay a thing on the floor, and then you, when you press the X button again, it like chips away at it. All right, we'll give it a shot. Um, there's a lot of chats here. Luke, I already read your little sentence there. I'm not gonna read it again. Another one says, I mean, the, N6, N6, the C64 Indiegogo didn't even make it to its goal, so maybe the website was too much. Yeah, I guess so, man. Marcus says, I spent 25 bucks on the DLC. I better get Gino and Waluigi. Well, chances are you're not gonna. Okay. So, oh, this is lame. Do I seriously have to get... <sighs> Whoa, okay. Boy, this is the game? This is a lame game, dude. It's gonna push me back? Oh, this game blows. This, this is a terrible game. It's not fun. It's a very simple concept. I wouldn't really call it a puzzle game. You highlight the ground when something appears above it. You blow it up. Cool. You do it endlessly forever. I don't think so. No. No thanks. Um, well, let's try Super Puzzle Fighter 2 because that's probably a better puzzle game. Matt Bam says, you have to make the floor blue so the gray box sinks, apparently. Ignore the green block. Yeah, I really don't care. That was not exciting at all. It was lame. That was a lame game. <laughs> I was not interested in that in the slightest. Not a classic. Taco. 
It has an interesting history behind it, says Mad the Man. Really? Well, if the history is interesting about it, then that's certainly much more interesting than the game would be. Because the game is not interesting. This looks a little bit like maybe a, a Puyo game. Street puzzle mode, arcade mode, versus mode. Training demo, that's a good idea, actually. Luke, how many games are in there? Uh, there are 20 games in here. Oops. My job is to train fighters. Yep. Okay. Karate Dojo. No, cross that and put puzzle. Ah, Crash Gem. Cool. It's a little Puyo-ish. Except for the Crash Gem thing. They possess attack power. Wow, those really do get massive. So I think in this game, as you do the puzzle elements... Wow, there's no way I'm gonna be that good at this game. That was a crazy combo. Counter attacks, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh no, that doesn't look good. This guy's good at combos. So, um, anyways, I think that when you destroy stuff, then your fighter will um, damage the other fighter. So it is kind of a fighting game. It's kind of similar today with those match three games. Where, uh, oh, there was a 3DS game, what was it? Puzzles and Dragons or something like that? And there was a, a Mario-themed one? Kind of like that, I think. Let's try this arcade mode. Oh, I'm a beginner. Easy is fine. I like these little chibis versions of the characters, though. Um, Ken. Sorry, did I say Ken? I meant Ryu. Well. <laughs> now that says there's nine games in the series of that intelligent cube wow now that says the worst thing is that game is probably better than up ds lol oh no that is real sad okay so this is forward and that one's back oh what do we want to do with our life here down some red we'll figure out that yellow business later okay uh, not sure how that's gonna go Tell you what, though, I'm gonna do this. Okay. Put this over here. I'm gonna keep this over here. Now I got a big old power gem. Oh, they put a trap down. Uh-oh. All right, some power gems are going to explode here. So what did I do to them in return? Oh! Hadoukened them. Ooh. 
sweet, and I left a bunch of traps. And put the blue there, and it'll chain. She's not looking like she's in good shape there. I think she's in big old trouble. I'm gonna do this. Two of, oh, Hadouken, Morgan, take that. If I put like a bunch of these all together. Oh, it did not help. Well, I'm not exactly sure what we're supposed to do here. <laughs> She's getting me. chain going there. Hopefully I can mess her up. Oh, she looks very precarious. Uh, not sure what to do. I feel trapped. Oh! She got a vicious combo on us here. Oh! Now I'm feeling subconscious. Oh, I should not have done that one. Wait, did I get her? I knocked her out! Woo! I out-puzzled her on easy. Yeah! You fought well. I was honored. That is a much better puzzle game. Counter gems. Oh, man, I saw that little stack up there. That it's clever. So there! That's a good puzzle game on the PlayStation Classic. That one's legit. A classic. Parker says, Yoshi's Cookie, my phone, like, autocorrect. Oh, must have missed something about Yoshi's Cookie, I guess. Uh, Just Hellfire is here on Mixer. How's it going? Welcome. Thanks for watching. This is actually, I remember this game on Xbox 360. Yeah, I think they're still making Super Puzzle Fighter games. So, it's going on and on. Now the man says, Luigi Mansion 3, more like Luigi Resident 3 Nemesis. Lel. I like it. I like it. Luke says, is she crying? Wow, she is crying. Yeah, I mean, she was really upset that we beat her, but, you know, can't take it easy. Marsupius says, nice job. Yeah, thanks. Played it on easy. Yeah, go me. <laughs> Default76 is watching. How's it going, Default? Says, oof. <laughs> oof, indeed. Parker says, the Street Fighter in this game, though, yeah? It's an actual Capcom game, so they get to use Street Fighter characters. Man, the Bam says if I ever mess up my PS Classic, I would put it in a USB or something I didn't know the fancy words, which would allow it to have a wireless DualShock 1 with analog to play Resident Evil 3 before Resident Evil 2 because... I have no idea what you're talking about, honestly. What did this mean? It says apparently Resident Evil 3 takes place before Resident Evil 2. Oh. I dreamt I was a butterfly. I couldn't tell I was dreaming, but when I woke, I am... I was, and I... I and not a butterfly. That's what it says. Was I dreaming that I was the butterfly, or was the butterfly dreaming that it was me? What? Mind blown! Even if there's a difference between the butterfly and I, me, the distinction isn't absolute and there is no relationship of cause and effect. Apparently that was some Japanese poetry. I'm assuming that or it was made up for this game. One or the other. This is the original Persona. I think. I think it's the original Persona. He's at some sort of gambling or arcade machine there. Just says, I do miss the Xbox Live Arcade because they had a lot of great games. Yeah, you know, I missed out on a lot of the Xbox Live Arcade stuff, unfortunately. So I, I hope that they bring a lot of that stuff over. Because I'd like to play it. Uh, 
And then says, I like how just signed because you saw my chat and I had to read it, lol. I'm sorry all my comments are so long today. What? I like how just signed because you saw my chat and I had to read it. What? Proofreading, man. Come on, aren't you taking English classes? <laughs> Wow, I didn't really see where this cutscene was going. Oh, it's moving on its own now. There's some like deep metaphors or something going on. And then this evil music after that. Okay, we're just gonna press the start button and see what the actual game is like. New game, oh man, it's already almost nine. Oh man, that means I gotta be stopping. Oh, this looks cool. Wait up, Brad. We're going to play Persona? What? Are you stupid? Mark is a troublemaker who gets into mischief. He doesn't get along with Nate. No, you're stupid. Persona will work, trust me. Man, I'll even bet you on it. Brad demands a lot of attention. He's conceited and very irresponsible. So, originally, Persona was like a meta thing. It was a game within a game. Alright, then the loser treats us all to dinner at Peace Diners. Pe Peace Diners. Alright. Okay, I'll bet on Brad. Alana is a troublemaker and total, and total airhead. She's very irresponsible. I bet on Brad, too. Ellen studied in Europe and came back to America with beauty and knowledge. She came back with beauty? So she didn't have it when she left, when she came back. She like stole some beauty or some she bought beauty and just put it on just like a mask. And suddenly I'm beautiful. I don't know. Boy, this must be some real bad uh, translations, I bet, huh? We're not getting anywhere real quick here. I wanted to see some real gameplay. Because I know that this is an RPG. Like a turn-based RPG. The Persona series always was. Default says, I used to have an Xbox 360. Sold it when the Xbox One came out, though. Yeah, I get that. I'm just going to skip all these from now on. Looks like there's a lot of dialogue. Just says, also, they are remaking Final Fantasy VII, which I'm excited for this year. This year? There's no way it's coming this year. Uh, so that whole business, we'll see how it works out. Because originally, they announced Final Fantasy VII Remake to be episodic. And each episode was going to be developed by a different studio. I was like, okay, why can't this be one game? Oh, it would be too big. No, it wouldn't. It really wouldn't. I mean, we're talking about The Witcher 3, you know, one of the biggest games ever. There's no way Final Fantasy VII Remade would be too big to be a single game. That doesn't even make sense. These days you have games that are almost 100 gigs, maybe even some that are over 100 gigs. If I check Master Chief Collection on my Xbox, that might be more than 100 gigs. It would not be too big. So they had weird explanations about it. And then all of a sudden it was like, oh, never mind, it's not going to be episodic anymore. So at what point did that change? And how long is it going to take to basically start over? I don't know. I, I don't think it's coming this year. I'm sorry to have to say that, but I don't think it's coming this year, man. Matthew M says, why would Sega make a game for a rival console? Atlas is owned by Sega. It's owned by Sega today. It was not owned by Sega in 1996 or whatever this is. I don't know when this game came out. But yeah, no, that was a more recent thing. Sega didn't own Atlas in these days. Matthew M says, Brad 1 and Brad 2, am I right? My favorite editors. Marsupial says, hey... I'm going out to the store to get some beauty. Want me to get you some, Jay? Yes, please. I'd love some beauty. I just ran out. Well. I want to see 
a battle. I want a battle to happen right now. I'm not reading any of this, so I just want to see a battle happen before I sign off. Default says seven people sitting in a room. It's the most exciting gameplay ever. Well, I mean, they're trying something different as far as the RPG approach goes, right? It's not a top-down little dude just doing this number walking around. Uh, Final Fantasy VII might not have happened yet. So Final Fantasy VII kind of redefined what, a, what an RPG could be. So they were trying something different here. Apparently there's a creepy ghost girl crying in the room with them. I don't know. And the man says, I like how you sighed before reading my chats. I'm sorry all my comments are so long. Not just long, but so many mistakes that they're impossible to understand. He says, hi, I fixed my broken comment from like four hours ago. Yes, thank you. I did not get it. I did not at all. Just says, unless they're going to port the original Final Fantasy VII over to the Xbox. That'd be cool. Actually, Final Fantasy VII did come to PC. So that could totally happen. Microsoft had the license once upon a time. Man, the BAM says, I wonder how much Sony paid Ubisoft to put Rainbow Six on the classic. No idea. Also Rayman. So at least two games from Ubisoft. So I think they're being transported to another world right now. I can't say for sure, but something is clearly happening here. It's very trippy. He might have died. This might be death. He looks creepy like Welcome death. My name is Philemon. Voice acting. I live between the world of consciousness and unconsciousness. So tell Whoa. me, who are you? This is just the startup for the game. I'm guessing we're gonna put our name in now? <laughs> yeah, we sure are. I don't really wanna play this for a lot longer. I'm just gonna put in 5J in the shortest possible way. Yes. Mad the Bam says, my comments are broken because I feel broken. Well, their own identity when they have come to this point. Default says, oh, he did. Just says, yes, but I never bought the PC version. I played on the PS1. Yeah, me too. I didn't really know it was on the PS or the, on the PC. Also, apparently the original Halo was on PC. And it had an exclusive weapon, a flamethrower. How weird is that? We live behind Who is Martin is here? Thank you for watching. Says, hey, how's things going? They're going well. Spinner. How are you? Thanks for watching. You claim your name. Says, change my name, by the way. Oh, you know I have no way to are. know who you previously were. Who, what was your previous name? And bestow my power onto you. Boy, Persona. can I skip? Because like, I just want to like get into a, a fight. You. That's all I want to see. Sometimes merciful, sometimes cruel. Marcy Bill says, I like Final Fantasy VII, but the last Final Fantasy I actually finished was six. No time for very long JRPGs with a job, I guess. You know, Marsupial, I'm not sure if I've ever finished any JRPG. Like, I've played lots of them, and I've put 40 hours into many of them. But I don't think I've ever actually finished any of them. Which is weird. You can like a game and, like, never finish them. But it's true. Totally true. Wow, apparently this is just the longest intro imaginable. It's just going on and on. Well, I, I can't stomach this anymore. We're not going to get to a point where we're in a battle anytime soon. So we're going to leave that as is. And we got to do something fun before we leave, don't we? I don't know, let's try Mr. Driller. Ah, the page with no name. Who's Martin? Got it. Boy, yeah, I would not have known, so. Welcome back, dude. How's it going? Mystical B, that was the original one, right? That's right. Luke's taking off. See you, Luke. Thanks for hanging out, dude. 
Yeah, yeah, colored blocks. Oh, is this another puzzle game then? That is so loud. Check the sound levels in the stream. It still seems quite loud. Uh, arcade mode is fine. Let's just hope it doesn't explode with noise like it did before. Beginners. It is a puzzle game. Is it a glitch that it is so loud? Boy, that is insanely loud. Whew. Oh. Oh! Okay, I kind of see where this is going now. Oh! Oh! Sweet! Okay. Cool! Ah! Oh, squished! Ouch. Air? Am I underwater? Music's cool. Woo! Run, little buddy! Woohoo! Yeah, this is a decently fun little game. It's a very interesting take on a puzzle plat or a puzzle game. I don't think I've ever uh, played a Mr. Driller then. Oh. Air, lots of air. There we go. Yeah, we cleared a level. Nice. Boy, I'm glad that real structures, or that this doesn't follow the rules of an actual structure falling, or you'd be killing yourself all the time. Even more so than actually did happen. Interesting, so I only got 640 feet out of the 25,000, and this was easy mode. Wah, wah. Apparently that was worth fifth place, but maybe there's only five places? Probably. Save. What is there to save? We're saving, though. It's happening. Okay. Exit. I'm gonna read some chats, and then I'm gonna end the stream here, guys. Wow, that is so loud. I just keep turning it down for you guys, because, man, this game in particular is just nuts loud. As Bam says, my fingertips feel numb because of chatting too much. Parker says, Mr. Driller, my life in a nutshell. Yeah, you're just trying to move forward and things are falling down on top of you. Well, default says, San Francisco earth earthquake colorized, 1906. <laughs> nice. Nice. Marsupial says, wow, that was really fast paced. It was, wasn't it? And then the shape of the blocks really changed your tactics. And then some of the blocks you couldn't drill through, like, it's very clever. Oh, it was an arcade game. That makes sense. There's also a survival mode. I guess you just play till you die, I guess. I can't believe how loud that is. And then it says, Mr. Drilling, more like Dig Dug Tetris. A little bit. A little bit. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. You're all the best. Tomorrow, I'll be streaming a game donated by Injured Gamer 1985. A game called Mutant Year Zero. It's a tactical game. Um, similar to like XCOM or Mario plus Rabbids. So it looks cool. I'm looking forward to it. So I hope you guys will be too. I'll see you tomorrow guys. Bye.